All right, so um, so hyphenated is Fei Long, correct? Yeah. Okay, cool. Amazing Fei Long. Thing. For the longest time, I always thought that this match was. Uh, I gotta open up my thing. It's cool, bro. Take your time. It, it really helped me out, so thank you. Shut up. <laughs> You would think on paper that Sagat vs. Fei Long is a insanely difficult match, but when yeah. played properly, Fei Long can apply pressure to Sagat like no nobody else. Proper jumping in on stage jumps, but it's his wheel kick that really does it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even though um, Hyphenated got trip guarded, he still wasn't phased and he was still in there to blow up Ultra Combo. Yeah. And Ultra is a very strong Sagat. Yeah, mm. Wow. That's it right there. And the thing is that the wheel kick will also beat the dragon punch. It will beat the tiger uppercut if done properly. And even like uh, you know jumping jabs, if he doesn't do the uh, uppercut perfectly timed, it's gonna beat it. Wow, that, that actually beat his DP, even though the super came out, hit him like hella late. Yeah, but his DP has no invincibility. Yeah, true. And the, the Fei Long super is invincible up until the last hit. I see. So you you can't do anything against it. The best you can hope for is to jump out of the way, which isn't very difficult at all. But with uh -huh. Long's low, long low pokes, he can punish a lot of startup on fireballs, which you'll see him. He's gonna grab a position right outside of sweep range, and he can hold that. Uh -huh. We'll kick over tigers. And you'll see. Oh, he could have killed him right there. Oh wow, they actually didn't, he didn't get the last hit of that. Wheel kick. Really close. Oh, wow. He missed the wheel kick, he would've gotten, he would've beaten that dragon punch, I bet. And that, that was nice by Ultra to push him out there. No, oh, Ultra's playing well. There wow. Over here, nice. See if Ultra can pull us back. If Ultra can keep him out, it's very difficult, but he's got a lot of experience against Stay Long as well. Mm -hmm. I just don't think he's playing this right one bit. Oh, oh wow, nice. Yeah, like Ultra Combo seems to be getting pushed into the corner early on. Well, that's what you do. It's, it's. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's so easy to push into the corner and mm -hmm. to control the match. Mm -hmm. It's almost counterintuitive because against most anybody else that doesn't have a good fireball, mm -hmm. Sagat will just demolish them. See, see, like, you would think that with um with Sagat standing short, controlling space so well, he wouldn't get pushed in the corner like that, but I guess not. One thing that he, that Ultra doesn't do is you can stay to stay long all day long. If you can get a good option select, his starter frame for his wheel kick and his flame kick is so large that you can't you can't wake up you know, hit a meaty jump in. Interesting. So you know, T Hawk and anybody grew. Anyways, he's just controlling the match right now. Really good pokes, he's staying out of range, he's hitting startups on fireballs. Mm. Oh, I missed that. See, he beat the DP clean. Yeah, I see that. Nice. Uh oh, anybody's game here. Like, Ultra Combo's trying to get us up out of the corner. Nice fireball to anti air that jump. Oh. That's what you gotta do. So if you can get to that position where he's zoned out, it's gonna be a difficult match. But he's not able to hold him out. Mm -hmm. See, he's moving in too close. He can keep his position back further, but he keeps giving up ground for no reason at all. Mm -hmm. So he's in range of the records. Uh oh. Now, now it's great. See? Good stuff. Good stuff. 